हे गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई एम मोहना फ्रॉम होम डेकॉर्ड मूव्स एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर डूइंग सम पेंटिंग बट आई एम ऑलवेज ट्राइंग सम न्यू ट्रिक्स फॉर पेंटिंग सो दिस वन इज वाटर कलर पेंटिंग यूजिंग पेंटर्स टेप दिस इज अ टेप वी यूज वाइल पेंटिंग वॉल्स टू गेट अ क्लीन एज सो दिस इज द पेंटर्स टेप आई एम यूजिंग इट्स फ्रॉम द ब्रांड कॉल्ड थ्री एम इट्स कॉल्ड थ्री एम मास्किंग टेप आई जस्ट बॉट द वन दैट वॉज हाईली रेटेड ऑन एमेजॉन anyway so this is a cutting pad you use it with a cutter so you don't ruin your table you don't really need this i just have ruined my table quite a bit from all the diys so i've bought it i'll put my tape on the mat along one of the lines and i'll use a ruler to cut a quarter inch wide strip of this tape this is an inch on the cutting mat and this is half and this is quarter inch you can just do it approximately just eyeball it that will work I'll put this on my watercolor paper in random patterns. Once we are done with creating our patterns with multiple tape strips, we ensure that it's stuck well to the paper. Go over it a couple of times. This is very important, guys, or the paint will leak. Now comes the fun part, which is the painting. So I'm starting with a pink here, quite a light shade of pink, and I'm thinking I'll go pink, maroon, and then maybe purple over the whole paper. Taking a darker pink now, uh, keeping the darkness in the bottom part, uh, trying to make it light to dark. Then I'll take maroon. And now purple in a light shade first. then a dark shade and then adding a little brown to make it even darker you can obviously take any colors and shades that you like so now we let this dry completely now while that's drying i'd like to show you these i tried the same thing with cello tape and some washi tape Uh, see how it's bleeding i'm not sure which one is cello tape and which one is washi tape i don't remember it but both of them are bleeding it's not what we are going for so the cello tape and the washi tape both don't work so it looks like it's dried completely it's the moment of truth now we peel off the tape and hopefully <laughs> reveal a clean line so looks like the painter's tape is the winner here look at those clean lines just amazing oops the paper tore so i don't think that should be an issue i'll just add some fabric all i'm thinking i think that part hadn't dried like completely so the top layer of the paper tore so let it dry completely guys anyway i think i'll need to cut the lower part just a little bit because the paper is just a little bit bigger than my frame and i don't think it will show in the frame as much and just pop it in a frame and we are done all the clean lines loving all the shades and the gradient so if you like this video press that like button and if you try this then tag me on instagram at home underscore decor underscore moods and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching mm -hmm.